Hi guys. I'm at work. This is a real cigarette because Joe forgot to do an order for the electronic ones because we order together. And uh, to save on shipping costs. And so now we're waiting for that. But right now I'm smoking real cigarettes and I'm on my break. Wonderful uh, 2, 2.20 in the morning. Uh, yeah, I, I went to work yesterday. I was like 9 to 5. And then I went to bed for four hours. And then I went to my second job. And now it's really late. But caffeine and willpower will get you places. Um, new songs on Rock Band, two of them, Words Cannot Express and A Death. So you guys should check those bitches out. You should fucking buy Rock Band. I don't have Rock Band. I need to get Rock Band. I haven't played my own songs on Rock Band, but I can play them on real instruments. So that's what counts. The piano is, the, for, for, for what shows up on Rock Band, the piano isn't even like half of what I'm actually playing. So... If you think the piano is difficult, you have no idea. They don't even have a left hand. There's no 88 key rock band keyboard, even though you could do MIDI with a real one. But still, you can't translate those onto the screen. <coughs> not productive. It's gonna be happening at some point. I'm not really authorized to say when, because I don't know when, and I'm not in charge of when. So, uh... Hang in there, guys. I've got a uh, two-part review for the launch that I've recently finished up. It is two parts because both, e each of those parts are like 25 minutes each. So uh, it's long and it's awesome and it's cool and you should watch it. But you will. So what am I even saying this for? I'm just promoting it. Um, as for my music, I know I haven't really been posting much, uh, mostly because what I've been working on right now is getting a stage band together, which I consider my band. So uh, right now we've got me on keys and vocals, Daniel on guitar, Joe on bass, and uh, the new drummer, Matt. And uh, we've got a good crew now, so we'll be playing shows whenever we're fucking practiced enough. And uh, after that point, we're going to start recording again. And uh, hopefully it'll be easier with more than just one person pitching in for recordings. And uh, yeah, that's one of the advantages of having a band. It's like you're not paying for every single fucking expense. But right now uh, we're jamming like in a storage locker, which is pretty fucking ghetto, but awesome and cool. And it works. And... Uh, Screw you, seagulls! Word up, see seagulls. This job's pretty sweet. I like it. I like it. I do. I'm, I clean boxes. Not always this late. And now I'm just trying to think of things to say so you're not watching me stare into the distance for this whole rest of the video. I'm just going to upload it while I'm at work, because that's how I roll. Watching me smoke. Do I not have anything better to say? Um, I got tickets to The Dark Knight. Not on Friday, on Monday, so you're gonna have to wait for that quickie. But I'm seeing it in D box, so that should be entertaining. Um, I've never, I tried the demo for D box before. It's where you sit in a chair and it like vibrates and moves depending on what's happening on the screen. Really gimmicky, kind of pricey, but I figured this is a movie that I can see in D box. I've never seen a movie in D-Box before, so I might 
I might be very disappointed or unsatisfied with it, but hey, I tried it. That's what I'll be saying once I actually have, because I haven't yet. Good. I just checked to see if I had my keys, because otherwise I'd be locked out. <laughs> and that would be funny. So yeah, check out those fucking songs. And I'm hoping to get some recordings out soon, even if they're not, like, extremely professional. I've been, I've been fucking amazed by Kickstarter, um, to the point where I'm gonna either do that or Indiegogo if, if we're doing, if we're doing recordings at a studio professionally. Um, I think that I'm gonna try my hand at fan base funding. Once I've got more of an audience, once Not Productive has started, once we've got an idea for the album, etc., etc., but... I mean, looking at shit like Ouya, the new Android game console for like 99 bucks or whatever that's coming out, that was a huge success on Kickstarter. Not Productive was started on Indiegogo. Fanbase funding is the fucking future. You're taking away the middleman. You don't need fucking studios or, or giant producers because uh, the content can be basically produced by the the audience which i love and that's what uh charlie kaufman's doing with his newest film um i forget what it's called but just search up charlie kaufman uh kickstarter and you'll find a link to uh what he's working on he hasn't made anything since synecdoche new york and that was fucking brilliant and uh, he's teaming up with the people that made moral oral which is a hilarious stop-motion animated show that you should check out Watching Breaking Bad right now. I was kind of hoping the first episode would be like a two-parter. I felt kind of rushed. It's a good show. Season two was a joke. Season three was like just me watching to see a train wreck, but it actually kind of got better. Season one and four are fantastic. And I guess we'll see what happens with season five. But I am fucking pissed that they split season five into two seasons. And you know that was AMC that did that. <sighs> this is why fan-based funding is cool, because you don't have to do stupid shit like that. You don't have have to have, like, the huge, like, oh, we gotta make a huge financial return on this, so let's f fuck people over. <sighs> Whatever, first world problems. I just have to wait another year to see the fucking conclusion that was supposed to happen this year. Season 5 part 1, season 5 part 2. What the fuck? Why don't you just have the balls to say it's six seasons and you, you wanted to stretch it out and fucking be jerks about it? Didn't they do that with Sopranos? They should have a fucking Six Feet Under Blu-ray already. I'm pissed about that. Sopranos is on Blu-ray, not Six Feet Under. It's the best show ever made. And there's no Blu-ray for it. That's uh, kind of what sucks, because, like, there's awesome movies like Smiley Face that you can find on the internet for, like, 7, 720p's, but there's no Blu-ray available, so it's like, okay, so I have the choice of purchasing it in a store or the best quality available. How can, how can piracy have a better... A, a better service than what you're selling. Pirates are supposed to be like bootleg copies. It's fucking ridiculous. You wonder why people pirate. Of course I don't! I was just talking about what you can find on the internet. Look at me go. This is caffeine and willpower. Mostly caffeine. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. I wonder what song's playing when I get back inside. My MP3 player's on shuffle. I wonder if it's gonna be embarrassing. Billy Talon! Bum, 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 bum. What's cool about this job is I can practice my singing whenever I fucking want. 
Let's see if I remember the lyrics. Nope. The action. In the fall, in the fall, when the tank took them all. In the fall, in the fall, I'm gonna stop this video.